But um, I told Slim one time that baby came at me for um, Slim. And he's like, look, Funky B, all that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be out here hustling, and you do your thing, and we just going to put our money together. If I got to put we got to put that out ourselves, I don't care how long it takes. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. That's crazy. Like when you when you really think about like like the way that his his era was, because this is an era. This ain't really just not like this, these are times. You know what I mean? Right. Like when you look at the time that he had, you know, in the new because was it during the same? It would have been the same time that was it before the Cash Money movement. Or during the cash? No, movie. this was before. Before I know when you met him, it was before. But I'm saying, did it lead up into it, or because it was a lot going on down here, man? It led up to this here when when he and I started putting like his tapes and records out, right? Yeah, that was right before I met P. Okay, so even before I met P, Baby came at me. And what y'all gonna do with Slap Rap? <laughs> he wanted him. Yeah. So um, me and Baby talked. So I bought the idea to Slim at the time, and um, I was just letting him know, man, because at that time, you know, we were still local. You know, I'm DJing the clubs. I wasn't making that kind of money, so I had to do a couple gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You trying to make sure you keep right, it going? Right, right. So um, I told him like, look, man. I, as a matter of fact, I bought it to him and. Another artist that I had named uh, Reg, like his name, he was slugged up nigga, like his whole top and bottom all gold, gold. teeth. He wasn't trying to hear it. Right, so him and Slim was tight. Yeah. Tight. When they came in the room, you knew it. Yeah, because it was like with them, like, see, when them two get into it, and the people on each side, they had to tell it, look, Whatever's going on with him is me and him. None of y'all can't tell me shit about him. And he'd say, the other one, like, none of y'all can't tell me shit about him. That's how tight If I'm going to talk about him, I, I only had that right. Y'all don't. Wow. That's because they holding it down in the city. Mm -hmm. So that's how it was. But um, I told Slim one time that baby came at me for um, Slim. And he's like, look, Funky B, all that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be out here hustling. And you do your thing. And we just going to put our money together. If I got to put, we got to put it. I don't care how long it take. He just liked just the feel of having it going itself. Yeah. With you, you know, and him. He, he just wanted me, he, he wanted me to do it. Period. He wasn't trying to move. He wasn't without trying you. to move. So when the situation came with P, I bought it, I bought him the idea because that's when I started bringing, when I got with P before we came back down, when I started bringing all of the artists in that I had. Yeah. I bought, he was going to be the first one why when I went up there to um, California. California. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.